Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more XCOM 2. So, we just finished the Chosen Stronghold in the last episode. We won't have to bother with the Warlock anymore. And before we continue, I'm actually going to start a new project in the Proving Ground. We got five Elerium cores now, which is a little bit better. So, I think I'm going to make another experimental rocket. We only have the Flashhead rocket so far, but there are a few other interesting types. So let's grab one, why the heck not? I'll send word when and we will reassign an engineer to make it faster. Okay then. So I can't really switch my research to the warlock weapon because we are researching a breakthrough. If I switch, I will not be able to restart this. We'll finish and then we can research the warlock weapon. Meanwhile, let's go get some more Elarium crystals. We are down to 25 which is not enough. I will need more for sure. I'll probably pass on the Avenger power, because while it's nice, it's not worth wasting seven days for that. Here's another facility. I still have the facility lead, so we'll probably research that sometime soon, and then raid whichever facility that allows me to raid, and then we can continue making contact with other facilities. So, this is what we got. Interesting. Oh, this sounds promising. Ineffective against highly armored targets. Okay. It is extremely effective against environment objects and enemies in confined spaces. Okay, I would like to see an actual detailed description of that. So let's take a look. Like, description on the actual item here. Damage, 3 to 6. Range 20, radius 5, mobility minus 1. I think I'll have to test it in action. Sounds interesting, though. Okay, then. So, uh, back to the proving ground for a moment. I could get advent chip adaptation here. I'll try to use the spark a little bit more. So I suppose we can get that. Alright, back to our Elarium crystals. There, that's 40 crystals. Now we can get the supplies. I assume we'll get a mission sometime soon. Probably guerrilla operation. We're also about to finish our current covert action. There it is. I need to use my skirmisher more. We will. We have recovered another piece of valuable Okay, new faction orders, mental fortitude. All battle madness only lasts one turn. Okay, that's not too bad. What can we do next? Let's see. We can reduce Avatar project progress. We can get the breakthrough research. This is not useful. Oh, we can recruit another Templar. Uh, let's do that. I definitely want another Templar. Off you go then. That's a no-brainer. There's the research. Storm gun inspired. Okay, I think I'll research that. First, let's do the instant autopsy here. Now, I do already have a bio nanoscale vest, one of them. I got that as loot from one of the missions. But now I could make more if I want to. Let's research the storm gun. That's the shotgun. Definitely worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Only six days as well. Uh, the warlock weapon can wait. We'll get it though, don't worry. And there's the mission. Let's see what we can do. A feral hive. A small feral chrysalid group has broken away from Advent and is located in this area. Yeah, that sounds bad. But we could counter Lost World. And we could get supplies. I might actually do this one. Sabotage transmitter. I don't need an engineer. I could probably live with Advent getting more armor. It's pretty annoying, but I can deal with it. A Captain Infiltrator. And counter collateral damage. That's also very, very tempting, I'm not gonna lie. But I think I'm going to do this one. 
because with the hive mod that I'm using, the lost in like any mission can lead to some <laughs> unintended consequences, let's just say. It can make some missions way harder if we get both chrysalids and the lost. I would rather avoid that if possible. And I can always use more supplies right now. So let's build that one. So I'm going to prepare my squad and then we'll continue. Alright, here's what we got. We got the Chop Chop, we got a Long Strider, we got Fox, Fay, Roar and Dom. And I do have some points I could spend. But I think I would like to get at least one more promotion. Holo targeting could be an interesting one, but not for a Reaper, really. So I think we're better off just... Actually, no, let's get the remote start. And I'll still have 8 points left. Okay, this is fine. So, that's our squad. I brought our fancy new rocket, and we still have the flashed rocket. Let's go! Got a prime opportunity here to disrupt the aliens' progress on their latest operation. Intel suggests Advent is moving a secure data vault through this area on one of their trains, and the information it's carrying is critical to the aliens' efforts. We are moving to secure. I'm looking forward to testing that new rocket. Anyway, here's our actual objective. We've got a bead on the Advent data vault near your position. So let's go scout ahead. Self-detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. All right, off we go then. You can never escape Interesting that. starting location. I've spotted an alien patrol. Yep, we got some groups already on the roof. All right. Oh yeah, chrysalis over here. Good to know. Uh, let's maybe go left a I'm little bit. Position. No place for you to go now. Mutant Pyro. Okay, that's quite a lot of enemies. Interesting. Hopefully we'll get a chance to use Remote Start. I suppose we'll find out. Archon Warrior, though. I need some Archon Warrior corpses. Because then I can make the vest, which will give us another use of Inspire. I would definitely like that. So, there are some civilians over here. Double time. I might have to just deal with them. Probably. Moving out. We will likely have to engage something, uh, like on the next turn, which is fine. Guide my hand. Let's just be careful. Yeah, we can keep Chop Chop back here still. I don't want it to be too close. He has four armor because I gave him a nanoscale vest. That should help his survivability. Let's overwatch, just in case. I don't think they will find us, but you never know. Okay, this is a pretty tempting target for a rocket, I'm not gonna lie. What about the chrysalids? Oh, a hive queen. Yeah, alright. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Definitely not. So, do we just use a rocket here? I could throw a claymore and then use a rocket. And this is way too tempting to do. Seems like a no-brainer, to be honest. I need to move a bit closer, but we will hit a lot of targets. My life I think we should do it. This is way too tempting. Just do it. But this is a lot of enemies. Okay, let's do it. So, Claymore. What do we want to hit exactly? Uh, definitely as many as possible. I think four is the most that I can hit. So we could hit the Cryo Priest. We could hit the Viper. Uh, the Shield Bearer, the Pyro and the Assault, like this. I like that. I could try to kill the purifier and then hope he blows up, but they don't always blow up. But this is actually a decent option. Okay, let's go like this instead, because if he actually blows up, he will do even more damage. 
to the pyro, for example. So now we'll use the flashed rocket. Here, that's going to be a ton of damage. I don't really mind the scatter. This is fine. Even if it misfires slightly, it will hit the vast majority of that group. So this is fine, let's do it. Go, go, go! Big bomb <laughs> incoming! Wait for it! There it is, nice! That's always so satisfying to do. One guy had blast padding, but whatever. Did we actually kill any? Okay, that's funny. We didn't actually kill any of them. Okay, okay. There's the Archon Warrior. Uh, several of them have like very low health. Let's see what we can still do here. I will always find you. Okay, so what can we still do? We can throw the axe at the warrior. Can we shred the warrior? Uh, possibly. I don't want to move too close to the turret though. Let's just take a shot from back here. As much as I like high ground. Can we even take a shot? Okay, now apparently not. What the heck? Okay, yeah, I can get line of sight to the warrior. It's just a little bit weird. I need to hit to actually shred it. I'm not wasting a rocket for that. 79%, that's pretty decent, but we don't need to hit. There it is. He dodged, but the shred is the actually important part. So he will teleport. That was not very convenient. They actually did not see Faye. <laughs> this feels a little bit awkward. I think we should actually consider using teamwork here to get her out of there. Because this could end very, very poorly. What about remote start? Yeah, there's no good target here. Let's actually move away. This is probably fine. I could move even further just to be safe. Let's play it safe. There's no need to do anything risky here. Okay, uh, with that said, we're not done yet. Let's throw the axe at the warrior. Maybe we can make it teleport towards us. Nice, we got a crit. I would like to kill that Archon. Yeah, this is good. Uh, maybe. Well, sort of. Yeah, this is fine. We can actually kill it with the Templar. Perfect, because this will give us plus one focus. Uh, he has Bladestorm himself, apparently. Well, it's fine. He will only get a chance to use that once. And now we can just back up a little. There we go. Okay, what else? I don't think I want to use that pistol, that won't achieve much. We're better off using Overwatch. Can we actually kill the shield bearer, however? Probably not, unless I get really lucky. Yeah, I don't think I'm even going to try. I don't think it's worth trying. Thirty percent, that's too low. Let's just overwatch. I should be able to kill him on the next turn, maybe. Because he will use the shield, they always do that. Which means all these other enemies will get the shield. But I should be able to take care of him. Let's just overwatch. Oh yeah, a fox has overly aggressive. Which is fine, I guess. You tried. When they get back to base, we'll have to give our soldiers some Oh, they will be fine, Bradford. And physically. So, they will fight the chrysalids, and I'm okay with that. This is actually kind of convenient. Maybe they will kill the chrysalids for me. I don't know about that queen we saw earlier. I would prefer to not fight that right now. Here comes Overwatch. And yep, we got him, nice. Okay, this is perfect, because he won't even get a chance to use the shield. Okay, nice, they are burning. 
I didn't see any chameleons, fortunately. Which doesn't mean they aren't out there. Yeah, they should kill at least some of the chrysalids. This is good. And it's a nice destruction. They are all targeting the chrysalids so far. They will also waste some of their cooldowns. And some of their items. Like that frost bomb. Okay, sector soldier. Now he's firing at me. Uh, oh, he actually hit as well, alright. Whatever. Is that it? I assume the chrysalids will also kill some of them. That will probably happen. Which could be bad, but... I mean... I'm fine with just letting them fight each other. Uh, that queen makes me a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, how do we do this now? 60%? Okay then. I don't really have a good remote start target, unfortunately. As much as I would like to. I think we just try to hit the soldier. I could maybe kill this one. If I can hit him, then yeah. I'm not willing to move too close, because that could be very risky. Let's just try to hit him like this. That could even kill him, we got good chance to crit. Any crit here will kill it. Nice one. Well, how about that? Okay, now the other sectoid. What about Chop Chop? We could take a shot from the high ground here. Again, I don't want to move too close. Just to be safe, but we can take a shot from the high ground. Oh, yeah, right, uh, the turret. We might want to get rid of it as well. I could actually use a rocket launcher here. Oh, uh, yeah, this stupid thing is blocking line of sight now. Right. Uh, I didn't think that's going to be the case. We have direct line of fire, but I can't use the rocket properly. Because that's possibly the most convenient way to get rid of that turret. But alas, that is not happening. Technically, I could use another rocket, like this one. Or even a guided rocket to maybe kill that cryo priest. I mean, yeah, that could work. Maybe even the mutant pyro. But I don't think that will work, will it? It might actually work, yeah. Okay, what the heck, let's give it a shot. This should be really good damage. It's just that I only have one guided rocket per mission and they can be quite valuable. Here it comes. Yep, nice. That was a lot of damage right there. So we destroyed the turret, we killed the muton, and we killed the other guy. And we can still do something. We can get a kill with Fey uh, on that advent assault over there. Like this. And stay concealed. Maybe even from up here. Yeah, this looks good. We can get a kill from over here. Let's do it! That's a guaranteed kill. He never saw it coming. Okay, we can still take a shot with Chop Chop, so let's do that. There it is. I would like to kill that Sectoid, but I can't really get rid of his cover. So, it's up to Fox, basically. He needs to hit this. Uh, yep, there we go. Nice. And that's a captain promotion. Very nice. I think that's going to be it right now. We killed anything that was reasonably close. Oh, damn it. I was trying to avoid triggering the chrysalids. 
Uh, but they will attack Advent. So that's not a bad thing. Let's see what's going to happen here. This is actually kind of fun, watching Advent fight the Chrysalids. Uh, nope, yeah, that was 8% chance to hit. Is that guy still going to hit us? Yeah, he will. Uh, that was some nasty damage right there. We might want to heal that up. Yes, make it burn. Looking good. I'm still a little bit nervous about the queen we saw earlier. <laughs> that purifier should be dead at this point. Maybe he will blow up and kill one of the chrysalids. What the heck? Two misses? I want him to blow up. There we go, nice, perfect. That's literally what I was waiting for. Have him blow up. Yep, there's the queen. So, we need a heal. I did have a medkit. I think Fox had the medkit. Right. Uh, well then, I think that will have to wait. How about we shoot this fella? Done. And there's the promotion for Chop Chop. He needs promotions. I suppose I could move and use the medkit. Okay, we should probably start moving anyway, so let's just do that. No specialist in this mission, so Fox will handle it. There you go, plus 6 HP. Now, can we kill anything? We should be able to kill the Sectoid. And not lose concealment. It's not guaranteed, but let's do it anyway. There, done. Still got a few chrysalids out there. I think we'll probably have to handle the queen ourselves. Not sure how I feel about that. I suppose we'll see. I'm sure it will be fine. What could possibly go wrong? I'll save the frost bomb for her. Okay, now the chrysalis will come for us. Uh, or not, for a civilian. Yep, there's the queen, with a bunch of friends. We do have limited time to get to our actual objective, and we're not even that close yet, so we might want to get a move on. Let's see. Okay, let's just move Chop Chop here. See if we reveal anything else. Yeah, we got another target. Oh yeah, chrysalid cocoon. I don't think I can get rid of it, but maybe I can. That's 40 damage. I don't know if I can do 40 damage. First, we have to kill the hunter. That's obvious. That's six more damage needed. I think Longstrider can handle that. Oh, no, he can't because I blocked the ladder with Chop Chop. I thought that there's going to be another one. I mean, okay, there is. Uh, Dom is blocking it. Uh, let's maybe take a shot at that cocoon. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. Can I not do it through the window? No, apparently not. Okay then. Yeah, see, now we are close enough. This might not be a kill. It will either be a kill or we'll leave it with 1 HP. Let's find out. Got it. So that's plus 1 focus. And let's see if we can do anything about the cocoon. Probably not. I don't think so, no. I'm pretty sure we can't, so let's just keep moving. Fox needs to be in a better position right now, so move up. We can still scout around a little bit. As you order, Commander. You will never hide from me, an alien scouting party. Here, okay, another group. 
that looks fairly unpleasant. It would be best if they started fighting the Queen. That would be the best case scenario. Moving as ordered. I still have remote start, but I, I don't see a good target for it just yet. And here's yet another group. Yeah, there are a lot of enemies in this mission. Things are starting to look rough. I'm going. I definitely can't destroy the cocoon. I'm not even going to try on this turn. Sure we can't do it. We can, however, overwatch. overwatch. So there are at least two more groups of advent. And there's that queen we saw earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I kind of hope they will fight each other, at least a little bit. Yeah, she's over there, right here. That's 30 HP and quite a bit of armor. So there's a chrysalid. We might want to kill that. Yep, definitely. Uh, here's a potentially good target for remote start. We'll check that out. First, let's kill the chrysalid. I can use the chrysalid to get plus one focus again. Maybe now we can get rid of the cocoon. We still have six turns. So, about remote start. It would be good. It would hit the vast majority of that pod. I think it's actually worth doing here. I don't think I want to move much. We could go to the high ground. Okay, let's give it a shot. That's going to be a ton of damage. Definitely worth it. And we want to do it before they move away. So, what the heck, let's do it. Big bomb coming up. There we go, we even hit, yeah, we hit like all of them. <laughs> the group on the left, the group behind, that was a ton of damage. Heck yeah, that was worth it, 100%. Look at that, the train looks a little bit empty now. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at that queen. So, what do we do now? And now we should try to get rid of the cocoon, but... Easier said than done. I could shoot the queen, but I don't think that's a particularly good idea. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. Doesn't seem like it. What about that cocoon, though? Getting a clear shot at it seems a little bit hard from where I'm standing. I think what I'm going to do is use kill zone. I could see that working way better in this situation. Yeah, let's use kill zone and maybe move a little bit. Okay, overwatch and kill zone. I do have to hurry up because I don't want to run out of time. But at the same time, I don't want to run into my death. I'll take this shot. There's probably not much point because we'll get another chrysalid and then the cocoon will disappear. So let's aim the kill zone a bit more to the left here at these guys. Okay, let's do that then. Here it comes. Do some nice damage. One down. One is burning apparently. Okay, that's it. Sure, okay. Here's the queen. Oh, nice. A dive bomb. All right, all right. Let them fight each other. This is fine. You cannot run. Chrysalid Broodmother. Two of them. Yeah, okay. Another kill zone. Nice. There it is. We got it. I think we have one more bullet. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. I guess not. We still have rockets, but I need to be careful to not blow up my objective. We definitely want to counter Lost World.
Still got a few chrysalid reapers, but they shouldn't be a problem. I still also have the frost bomb, but I might be too far away to use it. Okay, shitlings. Okay, here comes reaction shot, nice. I didn't want them to reveal Faye. And yeah, more enemies in the back, including an Archon warrior. And Roar got promoted to a lieutenant. Okay, that's a lot of shitlings. And there were a lot of enemies in this mission. Yeah, I'm not even counting at this point. I have a feeling some of the late game missions will get interesting, let's just say. But hey, it's funny to watch them fight each other, as long as I'm not involved. Well, I mean, as long as they are not both attacking me. Okay, yep, so another chrysalid, and the cocoon is gone. So obviously I have to kill this one. Maybe not with Chop Chop. Well, hold on, we can use Overdrive here. Let's do that, because that's a no-brainer. Take a shot. And we missed. Seriously? Okay. One more. That's better. And then we can use the rocket. So the rocket from the spark does not have spread. Which means I do not risk hitting the train. Here, this looks good. Okay, something like this. We might want to move a bit closer with someone else to be able to see all of them. Let's move up with Faye a little bit. At the same time, I don't want to risk getting revealed. Over here seems reasonable. We should be safe over there. Yeah, now we can see all of them. Now we can actually target the rocket a little bit better. Yep, I like this. We'll hit basically everything over there. All the advent and all the chrysalids. Not counting that one shitling on the roof. Go, go, go! Nice. They do have some blast padding, but oh well. I'll just have to deal with that. So, okay, what do we do now? Now I'll use the free reload. And we'll take a shot at the queen, I think. I have to kill that queen. We also still have some explosives, but I need to be way more careful with this one. Because if I misfire too much, uh, we risk blowing up our objective. The spread is fairly small, only 0 0.66, so uh, something like this should work. Just not too close to the train, like this should be fine. If we misfire a little bit, we'll miss some of the enemies, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, this should be good. Okay, go, go, go. Make it a good one. So this is like the newer rocket. This works better like indoors, from what I remember from the description, but it's still damage, so I'm still using it. Now, the queen. Let's take a shot at the queen here. Up to 11 damage. Nice one. That was max possible damage there. Zero chance to crit. So what exactly does she do? Melee attack. Hyper reactive healing. She will heal 2 HP anytime she takes damage. The queen's powerful legs and the wings allow her to leap high into the air and dive bomb. Yeah, we saw that earlier. She can spit a glob of sticky secretion that pins the target in place. Okay. Immune to all poison, fire and mental effects. You know what I could use here? Banish. We could use Sting, however. That way we're guaranteed to stay hidden. But maybe we can actually kill her. 
I mean, we can, for a fact, kill her. It's just a matter of how much risk I want to take. So, I mean, I could just run in and hit her with the Templar. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that one. And I still have to kill this hunter over here. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who's going to do that? Somebody should. Can Dom take a shot at the Queen somehow? Sort of. From like back here. It's not going to be 100. And I wouldn't mind using the Mimic Beacon. But here's the thing, I have to kill the Hunter and then I would like to kill the Queen. But it might be hard to do both. Especially if I also want to use the Mimic Beacon. I definitely... Well, hold on. If I stay here, then Bladestorm will kill the Chrysalid. But then I'm not close enough to use something like Vault. On these guys. I'm almost close enough, but not quite. So I guess that means I have to kill the Chrysalid Hunter. Fine, we'll kill it. Done. And that's a promotion. Nice. Captain. Good job. So how do we do this? This is a choice between killing the Queen or using the Mimic Beacon. I think that's basically what it is. With that said, I'm not guaranteed to kill the Queen. Because it's always possible we'll just miss. Which would be kind of bad. So... I'm thinking Mimic Beacon is the safest option here. Let's just throw the Mimic Beacon. It's probably not going to last long, but oh well, whatever. And if we want to play it safe, we can just go for a kill here. It's not guaranteed, but... Let's kill the Shitling first. Like that. We'll stay concealed. And then we can take another shot, because that was a headshot. Use the autoloader. Now we can take a shot at the Infector here, with 2 HP. Now, if I miss, I might get revealed. But if that happens, the Mimic Beacon should hopefully counter the situation. There, done. No one will warn them. Okay, so that's our turn. Let's see what's going to happen now. Hopefully they will still hit each other if the beacon goes down. But the beacon was just to play it safe. Looking good so far. That guy is on fire, it seems. Now, what will the queen do? Let's find out. Yeah, she will hit the beacon. Uh, no, he will... Or she will kill the advent guy. Okay. There is nowhere to hide. More shitlings coming. Uh, she didn't actually kill him, but she attacked him. So much for the beacon. We should have enough time left for the mission, but it might be a good idea to hurry up. I assume this is the last group. It has to be. I wouldn't mind getting that Archon Warrior corpse. That should give me enough corpses to make one vest. You know, to get a free use of Inspire. We got four turns. I will actually have to, like, go inside the train to hack it. Let's get moving. Chop Chop will have to do the hacking, probably. So let's just move him here. Take a shot at the Reaper. And then we can move one more time. And or reload. Down you go. Now I can just move more. Yeah, let's just move more. And what about Fox? A lightning hands, that's a good one. Yeah, let's use that on the queen. Now, she will heal from that. Let's use it on the assault trooper. And then use our primary weapon on the queen. Because she hits, she heals every time we hit her. 
so we want to give her a chance to do that this time. Done. Alright, now we can actually move. We can still move Fox because death from above. Uh, let's keep him on the high ground here and move everyone else. Faye is still concealed, we got a remote start available again. Not sure if there's a target in the back, we can take a look I suppose. Uh, we technically still got the bio assault trooper over here. Uh, this would be a good moment to use Sting, because with that I'm guaranteed to remain in the shadow. Because I can't actually kill him just with Faye right now. I can use Sting right now and then actually kill him on the next turn. Oh, hold on, uh, there might actually be a target there for remote start. No. If they move, there might be. So first, Sting. That's 40% chance to crit as well. And he's still on fire. So that's that. I still have one more rocket as well, I will probably use it. Okay, let's go people, go, go, go. No time to waste. We might want to reload as well. Dom probably doesn't need it, he has two free reloads. But there's no need to, like, take any risks. We'll reload properly. And I'll try to stay on the high ground here. I think this is the last move now. Yep. Okay then. So let's see what's going to happen here. The target is marked. I assume they will fight the chrysalids still. But it's only two shitlings left. They should die pretty easily. I don't want them to hit the codex because then the codex would clone. I would rather avoid that. <laughs> Their aim is pretty terrible there. Okay, one down. Not this time. The movement crippled, nice. Not that the Archon Warrior cares, he just teleports around. Okay, three turns. Yeah, I need to get that hacked soon. It looks like I can get it hacked on the next turn. Yep, I think so. Chop Chop can get there the fastest. But we still got that pod to deal with. I might want to deal with it. Can we shoot the Archon? I think we can. Yeah, we can. Uh, let's do that then. It seems like a good idea. 92% from this far away, I don't think it will get much better. And he will teleport, hopefully towards us somewhere. There it is. Go on then. Uh, yep, I think we can finish the job pretty easily here. If I can finish the job. Yep. We want this to be as close to 100 as possible. I'm on the move. Yeah, 100. So that's a guaranteed kill. And that gives us another Archon Warrior Corpse. So now we definitely have enough for a vest. Okay, now, uh, the trooper here. I do have advanced stock on Roar. Who can take a shot here? Dom can take a shot. Seems it won't be an amazing chance to hit, but we have high ground. Yeah, it's pretty bad. But let's take that shot anyway. You never know, it might hit. Adjusting sights. Not this time. I can hit him in my lab, but I don't want to trigger that pod yet. So let's try to avoid that if possible. We can do some damage with stock, so let's do that. Not a problem. Still got that one rocket. Yeah, two damage. Can we do three more somehow? 
yeah, okay, probably not unless I can hit him with a pistol. Which seems unlikely. Oh, hold on, I can actually kill him with Vault. Let's do that. I don't want him messing around. I will lose one focus, but I'm okay with that. So what I might do here is use free reload and then Overwatch. Well, the chrysalid is down. Let's see if any of them will see us here. The Psy Viper has some loot as well, I wouldn't mind the loot. Okay, right, here comes the Codex. They are already active, so I guess there's that. Not a big deal there. But we should move into the train and hack that stuff. Like, right now. I'm mostly concerned about the Psy Viper. That guy can be quite dangerous, and he has quite a lot of armor. Two more turns. Okay, so let's just move in. Uh, like this. I have to move out of the Psy Bomb anyway. Then we can get the hack done. 42% chance to get some intel. Yep. We didn't get it, but that's okay. We got the objective done. That's the important part. Now we have to finish off all the remaining enemies. So, let's see. Yeah, Fox needs to reload. And probably just stay up here. Yep. What else? I don't think I can kill the Codex right now. I could use the rocket. I don't think that will achieve a whole lot. No, it won't. We're probably better off moving to the high ground here. I think so, yeah. I'm just going to wait for that Codex's move. We could maybe take a shot, but I can't get good line of sight. I'll just overwatch and wait for their move. Okay, now I can get a shot from up here. So I don't have red screen rounds and I don't have stock. Meaning if I miss, it will not clone itself because we'll do zero damage. Okay, let's try. Yeah, this is fine. It was worth a shot. And let's just play it safe. Yep. Spread out a little bit. To avoid any funny business. I still got the frost bomb. I will almost certainly use it. I will be position. We are still in concealment. We still have remote start available. But there's no good target for it right now. We might get a target. Holding in place. If they stop to something explosive, I will definitely use. Assessing damage. Uh, Remote start. Also, please don't kill Chop Chop. Thank you very much. That was a pretty nasty shot right there. Okay, then. Uh, he's at like 3 HP, but he has 4 armor. Are they done? A uh, shield bearer. Okay, at least one of them has to miss. There we go. That was a little bit risky, but I had to hug the objective. And now we should probably back up. Let's kill the Codex first. So, this is a no-brainer. Shoot it in the face. With Dom. Yep. So there's a good chance this will be a kill. Because I get plus 2 damage from red screen. Yep, 13 critical. And that's a promotion to Lieutenant. Uh, let's back up. I think I'll just back up like all the way or something. Let's move into the building. Somewhere where they will not see me. And then reload. I need them to move towards me, they are too far away. Can we use remote start on something? Uh, let's find out. On anything? Are they in range of anything? Uh, this looks like it's... no, it's not. Okay, now there's no target here. If they move a bit closer, this could be a good target, but alas, it is not. 
not at the moment. Okay, let's just chill for one turn. There's no need to do anything rash. I would like to put that Frostbomb to good use. We'll see about that. This is a, safe position. a fox has a shot. It's not an amazing one, but I mean, we might as well take that shot. You never know. No. Oh well. It was worth a try, alright? Here comes the Psy Viper. Okay. That thing needs to die first. Now we can freeze it. I don't think I'll be killing the shield bearer first to remove that shield. We'll just burn through the shield. The old fashioned way. Okay, Dom took a shot to the face. So what's the best way to do this here? First frost bomb. Like that's a no-brainer. One thing I could do is stand next to it and get a blaze storm. But that's not very relevant when he's frozen, so not yet. Just throw the frost bomb. Hey, will it work for the shield? Let's play it safe and get rid of the shield first. Because it will be awkward if it didn't work. I'm like 99.999% sure it will, but I mean, there's no reason not to take a shot first. I do still have one more medkit, but uh, that's Fox with the medkit. So... Yeah. It might be better to move out of view and then use teamwork, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Can we put that rocket to good use? Yeah, I could. Oh yeah, what I could do here is use the rocket like this and that will create a double explosion. I can maybe hit the shield bearer too, but that seems like a bit of a stretch. And I don't want to miss the viper. I don't particularly care about the shield bearer and I have zero chance to kill him on this turn. Let's do it like this. Go, go, go. So that might even kill the viper. Yep, it will. Nice. That was a nice explosion right there. So now I can move and use teamwork. Hey, will that do me much good, actually? It kind of won't. Okay, never mind then. Uh, so, right. This is a tough one because I could use the damage from Chop Chop, but I don't want to risk having him die. And the shield bearer could definitely kill it. So that's slightly concerning. Just a little bit. A fox needs to move somewhere. And there's a turret over here. I want line of sight to that Psy Viper for my next turn. So I might have to move to the low ground here. Yeah, like down here or so. Something like this. Into the building maybe. Yeah, this looks fine. Okay, let's go. If I has one more ammunition. No good target for a mod start here. I could almost kill the shield bearer, but I want to do some damage to that Psy Viper. I'm still a bit undecided how to use Chop Chop here. It's a bit risky. Okay, let's do it. I can move, then use Overdrive, take a shot, and then move again. Okay, so let's use Overdrive. Then I can take a shot, hopefully shred it. I need this hit here. Yeah, that didn't shred it because we didn't do enough damage. Now I can either move to not risk getting killed or take another shot. Both are a valid option. Probably safer to just move. That's what I'm thinking. Thing is, I need damage from someone. <laughs> I kind of do. Okay, I can't really make up my mind here. Let's just move into safety with Chop Chop. 
And I suppose I could keep them in full cover, and in theory it will be fine. But that's just the theory. Okay, we did some damage at least. Now we can freeze it and hopefully finish it off on the next turn. I can still take a shot at it with Faye, I mean, that's an option. I could maybe even like leave her on the high ground deliberately for the shield bearer to target. Because she can take a hit. My life is in your hand. Okay, let's move up here and take a shot. I don't mind getting revealed. I just need more damage. So there it is. We will stay concealed actually. Which is a good thing because then I can ignore two armor on the next turn. Yeah, this is fine. That was close. I think we got this. So now I can use Chop Chop again. Yep, kind of. From the high ground, preferably. On the move. I still don't want to be too close, but I kind of need that shred. I'm just saying. Come on. There it is. Shredded it. Definitely need to kill it on this turn. At least the Viper. Come on now, what the heck? Not even close. Okay, now that's annoying. That's really annoying. Slash it. Now I should be able to finish it off with Bladestorm. I hope I'm not wrong about that. Okay, we can also use Lightning Hands. Just to make sure Bladestorm will kill it. Yeah, that didn't quite work. I would like to kill the Shield Bearer, but I don't think I can actually do it on this turn. Doesn't look like it, no. I can do some damage to him, hopefully. Unless we get really lucky, but he has too much armor and I can't really shred his armor. So, yeah, I don't think that's happening. Yeah, I need to take a shot at him from the shadow. So, looks like I need to stay on the low ground. We can do it from this direction. Uh, yep, okay, let's do that. Move into full cover. This will not be 100% chance to hit, but it will be decent enough. 89. Nice one. And we'll get revealed, but that's okay. So, Fox, 27. I assume the Viper will die to Bladestorm. He should. We do have a chance to kill the Shield Bearer. I'm taking that chance. Uh, nope, missed. Well, I tried, alright? Here comes Bladestorm. Uh, one HP left, seriously? Well, we will parry, so there's that. But now I won't parry the Shield Bearer. Uh, he missed the spark. Good, this was a little bit risky because he could have wrecked the spark, which would have been bad. But now we are definitely done with this mission. Now I will kill them both. Guaranteed, basically. That was a pretty nasty mission. Uh, okay, missed, really. All right, then. We won't miss this one. Okay, so now Bladestorm will kill the Shield Bearer. So that should be safe. And yes, I know I thought the same thing about the Psy Viper, but this will kill the Shield Bearer. Let's see what kind of loot we can get. I could actually use more Alerium cores. Yep, we got Alerium core, advanced expanded magazine, and conditioning PCS. That is a very nice haul. How about we just kill this guy? Yep. Works for me. Done. We are done with this mission. This mission was nasty. How many enemies is that? Somebody saying would probably modify the mod list at this point. 56 enemies. 
Not sure how many of them were chrysalids and how many were advent, but there were a lot of advent enemies too. We must never allow these dissidents to fill our hearts with fear. Their victory today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump on the path. Let's check our promotions. We got a few really nice promotions here. There we go. Five promotions. Very nice. So, okay. A concussion rocket. Quick burn 45. 45 actually sounds pretty nice. But I like having that concussion rocket. Even if I don't use it that frequently. So, for the Templar. A deep focus. Definitely. And uh, also reflect, I think. Reflect can be bad against primes. But generally speaking, I like having it. So let's get the reflect. Then we have chop chop. Oh yeah, strike. To punch things in the face. Uh, he will be gone for a while, unfortunately, but oh well. At least he won't get scrapped. I might pick up Rapid Fire for Fox, actually. A few people commented about that. But first... Steady Hands. If you did not move last turn, you get plus 10 aim, plus 10 critical chance. He also has a Rapture available. But let's take Rapid Fire, this could be interesting. I will have to spend some points. I could also wait for one more promotion and then pick up both Serial and Funfire. I'll have to think about this one, that's a tough one. And no um, running gun. I could also pick up Conceal. If I want to. Yeah, possibly. Okay, let's get Conceal. Done. Here's all our loot. Nice haul. Very nice haul. I wonder what we'll get from the Queen Autopsy. And the Broodmother Autopsy. Okay, first let's make the vest, shall we? That's the most exciting part here. Archon vest, there it is. It will cost me 45 supplies, which is fine. There, done. Got one. I still need a lot of upgrades, but we'll get them. I could also make that ghost grenade, because I never actually made one. It doesn't take much, so let's grab it. We'll give it a shot. And I think that's that, at least for now. I will most likely get at least one more bio nanoscale vest, but not yet. There's no huge rush. So, uh, let's see, back to the bridge. What I miss the most Intel. Is my equipment. We will get the shotgun in four days. So there's that. Uh, let's continue the supplies. Off you go. And there's advent chip adaptation. So that unlocks self-correcting rounds. Okay then. New project. I got five cores. I could make the spider suit now, I suppose. Yeah, I could. Probably worth it for the sniper. I mean, by probably I mean it's definitely worth it. Okay, fine, let's make one. It's worth it. There's the storm gun. Commander. We still have the body of the recovered alien test subject in storage. And we can get some instant autopsies. Yep, let's do that. Breakthroughs in our own research after a careful examination. Gauntlet Mark II. Reinforce underlay. Physically. Next. Spark shields, experimental armor. Right, new vested designs. 
and the turret breakdown. Uh, I should definitely build defense matrix. Yeah, let's maybe get started on that right away. I might need more power. I will need more power, which is fine. Okay, let's do it. There. We can probably assign one person, that's acceptable. Okay, done. As for our next research, we have a few options. Uh, yeah, we should probably get alien encryption by now. I mean, I waited long enough to get that. Definitely a good moment. And we have a good spot uh, for the shadow chamber. This one, on the power coil. So, supplies. There's the spider suit. Strategic resource located. We got the supplies. So, do we get the intel? We do have 285. I think that can wait. Let's make contact with New Mexico. So, I could raid this facility first and then research the lead. Oh, uh, is that Citrep still there. Yeah, it's still there. I would really prefer to not have to do this mission, because this one is going to be really tough. Low-profile Citrep in a mission like this is just nasty. Especially with a ruler inside. I really hope I'll be able to avoid that. Let's make contact with New Mexico. I don't really need the bonus here, because that's like not super useful for me. I'm mostly bottlenecked by the Elarium cores, not by time we need to complete the project. Here's another Templar, so that's a Captain Templar, very nice. What do we do next? Let's see. Breakthrough research, I don't need that one. We can reduce Avatar project progress. We can hunt the Hunter. Oh, uh, here we could reduce Avatar project progress and get a promotion while doing it. Yeah, let's do that. So we could actually promote our Rocketeer to Colonel. I'm going to do that. Heck yeah, let's do that. That's going to be nice. Then we can send Jake, our Corporal Specialist, and I'll pay the supplies. Understood, Off you go then, we'll get a Colonel in 10 days. Carry on. Dark event complete, so they will carry more explosives. The troopers, that is. More supplies coming up. Okay, plane walker. So he will teleport after taking damage. That's a pretty annoying strength, but I think I prefer Hunter with it than Assassin. One of them was going to have it one way or the other. Kind of hard to avoid that. Stilet around, sealed armor. Let's reveal this. Okay, minor breakthrough. Good to know. We can get one more resistance order for the Templars. So what do we want here? Vengeance? No. Stay with me? Eh, not really. I think I'll take mental fortitude. That could come in handy. Feedback can be okay, but I like mental fortitude, that's a nice one. And I'm keeping everything else here. These are all good. 312 supplies. There's alien encryption. So that unlocks the shadow chamber. And now we can research the warlock weapon, because I would like to get that. Having developed a greater understanding of and this will be the shadow chamber on the power coil. Yep. To uh, let's move this engineer here. To their avatar I would Done. How many cores do we have now? Uh, Elarium cores? Four. Right. Well, I could do one experimental heavy weapon. We could do experimental armor. This sounds useful. And I don't mind waiting 18 days. 
Okay, let's do that. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. We'll probably get a mission before we finish the Warlock weapon, but let's find out. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as Yeah, yeah, we will, Bradford, don't worry. I think we'll just make contact with this one, and once it's destroyed, then we can use the facility lead. I like that idea. Okay, Advent Retaliation. No seed trap, that's good. A hive swarm siege. So it's that kind of mission. Well then, I guess we'll be doing that. That's going to be more of a mid late game swarm siege. That could get nasty. I'll probably want my best squad for this. Well, that means that's the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.